How are you doing everybody? Today I borrowed a set of scales and we're gonna get the duster up on the scales and check a few things out. Check our, mostly to chase after some traction issues. See where we are with driver in it, see where we are with the ballast I had. And then we got a couple adjustments, a couple adjustments we think we can make. See if it makes a difference. Hopefully be able to shift enough weight back right. by just in the car. Right, so we're gonna move the uh, front spring mount, uh, the spring eye up, and I'll drop us a little bit, and then I might have to make some shackles for the back. And hopefully, we don't have to, because you know we want our car to sit lower. If we have to, maybe raise the front end up an inch. To maybe a little bit. Maybe to where we need to be. But we've been, we've been getting a lot of uh, lift in the front, which is over what we're wanting, so. Yeah, so we'll get this thing on the scales and uh, see how it goes. Okay, we got everything hooked up. Got it plugged in, looks like it's working. We can tear it out. And we're gonna roll the car over. Okay, so the total weight of the car is 3,070 pounds with no driver. And our rear weight is 46% with no driver. So Ricky, get in the car. Okay. See where we're at. Forty-six point six. Nope. Yeah, it didn't change it much. How much did it change left to right? There's still a bias, a hundred pound bias on the right side, as it should be. Yeah, so what we say about two percent to the back would be ideal. Let's try our weights and see where we were when we had the weights in the back. All right. Okay, looking at the rear weight, the right rear, which is the passenger side, is lighter. And I was incorrect earlier. It's supposed to be lighter because the super stock spring has more arch on that side to preload the other side and the twist of the car when it launches should in theory even out. Um, so this makes sense. And we're gonna put the weights in and see where we go. Okay, we've added one tractor weight and we're up to 47 and a half percent. Get the other weight in. Okay, the second tractor weight, those are 20 kilogram each. Now we're at 48.6% uh, with driver, 3,309 pounds with driver. All right, so got the duster fired up because we're gonna have to be driving it up uh, to our lift. Uh, but my dad is kind of clean out that area. They don't want to just want to start up the duster and then shut it off right away. Just put a little heat in it at first so we don't build up any condensation or anything because the building's uh, air conditioned and you know, humid outside and everything. So put a little heat in it, just driving it down the road and back. And uh, we'll be driving up on the lift and uh, get ready to put it back on the scales. Okay, we got the. Uh... Saturn out of the way, and you can see we got no front wheels, no frame, everything's out of it. So we used the engine hoist, shoved it back. Now we got used to the hoist again. What we're gonna do is this spring perch, or spring mount, I should say, out in the front, we are gonna flip. We're gonna unbolt it. We're gonna flip it, and hopefully that moves the spring eye closer to the floorboard which should give us a little more forward bite and a little more rear bias. We're gonna give that a shot, see what we get. Okay, so we can't flip this over, this mount. It's like this. They're not the same. So I think, I think we can get an aftermarket solution. So we're gonna get online and see what we can do because we want this hole mounted up here to bring the, the spring up closer. So let's yeah, see what we can get. Yeah, this is where it's going up here. Yeah. So let's see what we can do. At least it came apart pretty easy. We didn't have to fight it too much. Yeah, it was pretty lightweight. We could hold the hold the whole assembly up and uh, bust it loose without much problems. All right, we'll get back to you. How's it going, guys? We're uh, 
Taking a different direction, we were gonna try to use um, front spring mount and flip that, that didn't work. And then I realized I should just be using a lowering block. We'll start with that. So I'll go show them where it'll sit. In between the spring and the axle, we'll drop the back an inch. We got enough room on the U-bolts. So we'll go ahead and get those in and then see where our percentage, weight percentage goes with uh, just a one inch drop in the back. All right, try lifting up the axle, see if you can slide that in or what we gotta do. She might be a little stuck. Yeah, might need both of us on this one. All right, I'll put the camera down. You were able to pick the axle up and uh, this works, it'll fit under there, but the locating pin, uh, I the guess- The hole's only a half inch yeah. and that's a five eighths. So it doesn't uh, line up too well. So we have to find a way to make that uh, smaller, whether you grind it or... Yeah, we'll or, probably grind it or file it. File it fit and uh, get back to it. Should turn out. All right, after uh, some filing away uh, on those guides, uh, we got it right around a half inch. Actually, uh, it looked pretty good. Yeah. Half Still inch. fits snug. Yeah, it fits snug, and uh, now we just got to put the U-bolts back and tighten them down and uh, go on to the next side, and then we can... Uh, get it on a scale. Our, yeah, see our, how our weight shifted. So let's get this put back together. All right. All right, we got the U-bolts back on the side. We don't have them tightened down all the way because uh, the whole axle is uh, pivoting and uh, not straight uh, because obviously the there are different heights on both sides. So we're about to start taking apart uh, this side and uh, file down that other uh lowering block and try to get that put in. All right, so we got the other block filed down and see we're sitting on it. Now we just gotta get the U-bolts the back. U back in and uh, get it all straightened out and so we're not uh, all crooked. Yeah, put some uh, grease to drive shaft, that needed it. So with the body sitting lower, our adjustable pinion snubber we might have to drop it down and it's hard to see, but the bolt hole won't line up at the, at the lowest amount. So might have to trim the metal back after we get this thing on the ground and see where we're gonna sit. Yeah, before we lowered it, we had about half finger, inch. finger width between the, the body and the pinion snubber. So dropping an inch might be touching. So yeah, we'll have to trim it and adjust it down. All right, let's get to it. Okay, we got the car on the blocks. And we're gonna roll her back. All right. Okay, get her in park. All right, what are the numbers? We're at 47% rear weight. The surprising thing is Our weight bias has changed. The right rear was lighter, and now it's heavier. So we gained a half a percent. But the numbers are not where yeah. we're wanting them. All right, we're gonna bounce this thing around, play with maybe a little bit of ballast. And I think we might raise the front of the car on one side just a little bit. So we'll play with it and see what we come up with. So as we move the car around and bounce it, it actually got worse. So we're only at 46.7%, so we didn't pick up a lot, and our rear bias changed. So we are gonna start working on the front torsion bar, see where we can go with it. You know what you're doing? Yeah, it seems like we already adjusted the torsion bars <laughs> at one point to, you know, make it the way it's supposed to be set up, now we're undoing it. Yeah, but we don't know what we're doing with these scales, do we? We'll figure it out. Seems like we know what we're doing until we don't. <laughs> 
<laughs> right. All right. Get cranking. Okay. From when we started, we've added 12 pounds to the back and went from 46.5 to 46.8 percent. Yep. We've raised the passenger torsion bar up one, one inch. inch and we got our weight bias back to the left side by a little bit. Which More, is where it was before. Uh, yeah, far better. We think we're going to bring the front uh, drivers up just a little bit. To even out the weights in the back? It'll throw a little more weight to the back and see what we'll get. Probably going to go a half an inch. Right now they're an inch off of each other and dropping the back of the car an inch. Car was sitting pretty level before we started with the front. We'll bring it up half inch. We'll see where we end up with. Well, Ricky, after a lot of fooling around with the uh, driver's side torsion bar, we didn't really get the results we wanted. So Yeah, it was kind of backwards from what we thought. We raised it up thinking it would take the weight off it and move it to the rear, uh, but it actually added more weight to the left front somehow. So we, we put it back, and quite honest, I'm pretty happy with those numbers. We were shooting for 47% at least. Initially, and we're at 46.9. We picked up 14 pounds in the rear, and uh, we got the left rear back to being a good amount higher than the right rear, and the front's pretty balanced. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll give it a shot, and if we got to change it, we'll change it. But so, we go to track when we go to track next weekend, Saturday and Sunday, for the first and second points race in okay. the fall season. So. We'll just I do feel a, like we changed a lot, and if we still spin, then we got other problems on our hands, I guess. Yeah, we'll just keep working on it. Yep. We're going to see what a little bit of ballast does, but other than that, get this right. thing ready, do, do a little maintenance on it, and get yep. ready for the track. Yep. All right, see you next time, guys.